Hello everybody, this is Mr. Rob and welcome back to another episode of the Washington Commanders franchise here on Madden NFL 24 and today we're going to go through the preseason before jumping into year number three next week. I thought about doing another training camp episode but I think it's time we just get back to our actual Washington Commanders. So today we're going to be simulating the three preseason games and finding out the final roster going into what's going to be the 2025 NFL season. If you're excited for this one, make sure you drop a like and you subscribe down below, especially if you want more franchise content. It's been an exciting offseason up until this point, but it's time to put the final touches together. Now, we're coming off of a 7-10 season, and the big question going into this year is how will Michael Penix play? He's going to be given the reins for the offense, and he is now the new starting quarterback. Our big splash, though, was in free agency. We, we took Tyron Smith of the two-year contract away from the division rival Dallas Cowboys. And then our first pick in the draft was in the second round. We took strong safety Richard Amos. He'll help out in those big nickel formations. But our more intriguing selection was in the fifth round. We did find a hidden dead receiver in Sean Long from UTSA. But he's going to have a lot of competition there at that wide receiver spot. Here's a look at all the signings we did in the preseason. A couple of veterans. Ryan Stonehouse will be our punter. Jacoby Brissett is back on the team. He will be a backup to Phoenix Jr. Kareem Hunt, Allen Robinson, and then a couple of undrafted free agents. There was one trade up until this point. The Giants and the Jets, Crosstown Rivals, they swap Alex Singleton and Jermaine Johnson. Here's a look at our preseason schedule. We'll play three games, starting off with this Los Angeles Chargers matchup, where we actually win 24-21. I let the CPU handle all of the starters and everything because that's what they do with the other teams and I kind of want to keep it fair. So if like an injury does happen, it's just kind of what we have to deal with. Phoenix played okay, not really that special in this game as we did get an interception for Jeremiah Trotter Jr., which was nice. Now in the preseason, you got to avoid injuries and we did suffer one in the first game of the season and it's Devin Singletary broke his wrist. So after a breakout season last year, He's going to miss the first three weeks of this season. That's a big blow to our offense. I was excited for Devin Singletary. So Antonio Gibson's got to step back up and be the starting running back and Kareem Hunt to help him out. We lose the second preseason game 31-16 to to the Steelers as Brissett and Penix both didn't play overly that well. Phoenix only had 30 passing yards. Hunt had two rushing touchdowns. He's fighting for a roster spot, and I think he's done a pretty decent job. I signed him because he has some familiarity with Eric Bieniemy and his time in Kansas City, and now he'll help out with Singletary injured. But other than that, nothing really stands out in this game. We did get another new injury. This time, though, it's to a backup linebacker, Kalecki Hudson, who we signed in preseason to be a backup linebacker. He's been with Washington before, and he just has some familiarity with the team. It's not a long-term injury, however. Now, we also have a wide receiver mentorship opportunity, and Terry McLaurin wants to take Johnny Wilson under his wing. I am all for this. Thank you, Terry McLaurin, because I want to see Johnny Wilson really break out in his sophomore season. We're going to ask McLaurin to help him with, with getting open, because I do like Wilson's hands. I just wanted to be able to create a little bit more separation, specifically on those medium routes at six foot seven. I think that's where McLaurin really shines. So if he could help Wilson get open across the middle of the field, that would be ideal. And McLaurin's going to come through in the clutch. He gets a plus two rating to Johnny Wilson's release and a plus two to his medium route running. So you got to love to see that. In the final preseason game, we beat the Patriots 14-13. to Phoenix played pretty solid. He had a touchdown. Only 50% of his passes completed, though. But, you know, he did score a touchdown in his final preseason game. Jahan Dodson and Allen Robinson also stand out. We signed Allen Robinson as preseason. And Johnny Wilson caught a 25-yard touchdown catch. Defense, though, wasn't really anybody else besides the starters who stand out. And here's our final preseason stats. Penix went 2-0 in terms of touchdowns and interceptions, so that's not bad. We'll take that. Running game, both Gibson and Hunt both had a pair of touchdowns, so Kareem Hunt is going to make the final roster, especially with a Singletary injury. Our leading receiver was Robinson, and that might come to a surprise, but... He had 13 touchdowns last year for Indianapolis, so I thought, why not take a chance on him in the preseason? He's definitely earned another opportunity. Other than that, Bo Melton was second with 107 yards. The tight end position, nobody, again, was really that solid. So that open competition, I really don't have a final result as of just yet. And we can see a couple of other guys down the list. Long had two catches for 35 yards in the preseason. 
Blocking wise, the left tackle we took in the draft, Alfonso Kemp really struggled. It's kind of an underwhelming pick, you know, looking back on it. But you know, hindsight's 2020. Defense, Trotter led the way with 20 tackles, followed by our new nickel corner in Michael Davis. Allen, of course, led the way in tackles for a loss, no surprise. And then sacks, you can see them across the board. And then Trotter, one interception in that department. Kicking, Cameron Little did miss a field goal, so the second-year kicker, you know, that's not good. Stonehouse, eh, nothing really. And then nothing in the return game. So it's time to get down to our final cuts, and here's a take a look at what we do. There's really no surprises in this wave of cuts. I mean, Jake Bailey is gone. Just a couple of undrafted and first-year players that we're going to put on our practice squad. Cole Turner had two touchdowns for us two seasons ago. He is going to be cut. Other than that, it's, it's pretty straightforward. And we signed Jalen Hyatt to our practice squad. A couple more trades. The Raiders, who they just signed Isaiah Wynn, actually traded him to the Colts for Isaac in a fifth-round pick. And then the Raiders not done. They trade for Daxon Hill, and they send a couple of players and a pick to Cincinnati. So here is our official final roster going into the 2025 season. Tight end, still not sure. Wide receiver's pretty deep. Brissett will be the backup quarterback. You know, we'll see how this team does. I do think the defense is strong this year. I do want to see how the offense plays, though. I think that's the key this year. How is Michael Penix Jr. play now that he's the starting quarterback? We'll have to wait and see. But the final roster for your Washington Commanders. Now, here's a look at our schedule. We'll start off with a very tough stretch. Cowboys, two out of three games. The Chiefs involved there as well. This is a very interesting schedule because we play our division, which is the best in football last year. We play the NFC North, which went through a lot of turmoil this season, specifically with those Detroit Lions, as well as we'll see the number one pick, Kobe Allard, out there in New York. But next episode, we'll start the season year number three with a home matchup against the Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys were the best team in football last year, but I honestly think they could be a little vulnerable. They've lost a couple weapons. Cooks is no longer out there. And we took Tyron Smith away from that offensive line, which is now a little suspect. So I do think if we can hold them on offense and stop their pass rush, we have a good chance against the Dallas Cowboys. So let's start this season with a W. That'll be coming next episode. And we'll get this up and rolling. There should be a lot of Commanders episodes next week because of the offseason for the Clippers. I want to do the free agency on Saturday. So you could see all Commanders this week. So that's exciting if you're a Commanders fan. I'm excited for your number three. I hope you are as well. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and you subscribe down below, especially if you want more franchise content. This is Mr. Rob, and I'll see you in the next one.